Hello, Dado, and thank you for your time. So I guess you are quite thank happy you. after the results. So what does the uh, feeling that you're feeling right now? Well, it's definitely a lot of relief uh, because it's been a really hard year, a really tough year. We are not yet obviously qualified to work. So we don't want to stop here. We feel we are strong to, to keep doing it. But yeah, for now, enjoying so much the, um, the victory of today, which is very important. And as a viewer, the game was very stressful to watch. And I guess it would be the same for you. So how did you live like, this full experience and were you expecting that game to be that hard today? I mean, I have never been in seven years that I have been working in League of Legends. I have never been so, so nervous. Uh, that's the reality. I was very, very stressful because, again, mm, I guess for the whole fanatic, but probably personally for myself, this game had uh, a special meaning, uh, which is a huge comeback from a really bad year. Uh, where we have had like really tough moments and being back there, being back at the top, still like fighting for the international tournaments, as I was saying, that is that is huge uh, with the start of the year that we had and improving again the, the kind of team that we are. So, so yeah, it, it has been probably the most stressful game for me, like regardless of what's happening in the game, uh, that it has been also a bit messy and, and, and with a lot of back and forth, but, but yeah, like... Uh, at the end of the day, uh, putting out all the adrenaline when when we won, uh, hugging each other with the coaching team, with the rest of the management team, and and enjoying like uh, a lot of joy in in this in this moment. So of course this year is not over. You still need to play LEC, like more games, and you still need to play at Worlds maybe. But are you still going to somehow celebrate uh, tonight, or it's like too early to celebrate? No, I mean for now, obviously. We are celebrating right now spontaneously after winning and life is about moments and the ones that you have to enjoy, you, you actually have to celebrate the, the way that, that we are doing here right now, but uh, it's nothing. We are tomorrow back to work. Uh, we have a game to play next Saturday. It's a huge game for us because that, that would mean qualifying to Montpellier, qualifying to Worlds without having to go to the fourth seed game versus NA. So. I think right now the only thing we want, obviously, is to is to keep the focus and and I mean, sure, as I was saying, this is an important game for us, uh, qualifying for knowing that we are going to go international and we are going to be able to play in Korea. But the reality is that our ambition as fanatic is never going to be top four. Uh, we we don't want to stop here and we want to to contest for the title. Yeah, as you mentioned, fanatic is such a big org in Europe with so many fans and sometimes this fan can be kind of harsh or very demanding. Uh, and we know that Fnatic is often criticized like for choices, for any plays or stuff like that. So in your position, is it hard to thank all the critics or do you, are you used to it right now? I mean, I think it's no secret that I have had a very personally speaking, like a very hard year. And I think that's why I said that this game was very important for me. Um, because again, it proves the good work that we are doing here, the effort that we are putting. We are humans. Sometimes we will uh, make better decisions. Sometimes we'll, we'll make worse. But I feel this year, everything that could go wrong was going wrong. And just with a lot of effort, with a lot of work and with a lot of passion that I believe the, the people that we have around the team is what we are putting, like a lot of the, giving the extra mile and, mm -hmm. and 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 sacrificing anything that we need to in order to yeah help the team yeah it's it feels so good and about the critics uh i am absolutely fine always with receiving critics uh, i think it's part of our jobs but especially my job i am responsible of anything that happens in the team i am the ultimate responsible i think i have had a, a harder time because there was kind of a or that's how I felt it, like there was a bit more of a personal campaign and I felt that it was sure, like the results that we started the year with were completely unacceptable, but I feel it was somehow a bit also unfair. And I, and I said that I felt very strong about turning the situation around and I am just happy to to have proven that that is the, that is the actually what we have done at the end. And even though the season is not over, 
um, all the things considered, it's a, a great result to be here. But again, we are not going to stop here. And I, I feel very comf comf comfortable and confident about qualifying to Montpellier and qualifying to Worlds. And during the whole year, I interview like many fanatic players. Some of them are like not gone, but you know that I'm not in the team anymore, like uh, Rooks or even Crusher, the head coach for the first split. And I follow like all the difficulties and all the journey that you had. Uh, with, now that you have some insight, uh, like, do you have any regrets or do you think that you learn anything during the year that you might change next year or in, your following, in, in the next uh, stage of your career? I mean, I, I normally don't have many regrets because, again, like when you commit mistakes, what you need to do is to learn from them and um, you, you just gain experience over and over and that's what makes you be a, a better professional and, and more prepared for the situations that you will have to confront in the future. Um, yeah, I mean, I just feel that we took the, how do I say this? It's like, I don't think the decisions were bad themselves. I, I, I think, or I think the reasons why we took the decisions were correct. Uh, there was a reasoning behind, there was no randomness on, on that, but it didn't work out and that can happen. I think the what 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 you just need to be is like strong enough and 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 have like the clear ideas in order to make the changes, uh, the appropriate changes to come back. And I think that's what we have done, and I'm happy to have done so. I think it could have. I still think like again that uh, what the decision that we made had a reasoning behind, and it could have worked perfectly, but it didn't. So that's life, and we move on. We kept doing changes, we kept adapting, and here we are. So I am really happy. Yeah, and the last changes, like with the uh, bringing up, up of like Oscar Runin, but also like Twin B and Nerf of the left pit has been a success. So uh, were you 100% sure when you like recruit this player? Because they were not often like, yeah, no, I was like almost unknown in Europe. But, but were you like 100% sure before making the choice? I mean, um, the, the, the thinking process for every of these players has been completely different. I think I will uh, probably be able to uh, to say many years that I was the one that promoted Oscar, and that was something that was completely on our roadmap. Uh, probably we would have promoted him a bit later. I think we were thinking more on him for 2024, but how the the split went, we we just felt it was the right moment to to do it. Um, so so yeah, like we, with Oscar, we have just been following the roadmap of what we thought that was the because of a a player of of his talent. It's it's something that we always uh, felt that he was going to develop very very well uh, in Fnatic. Trimby is a very experienced player. Uh, winner of the LEC last year, he has world's experience, uh, so we felt like he could uh, provide us with uh, a lot of stuff that uh, a lot of of that experience and obviously a really good level. And together with him, we felt it was a good idea to bring someone with the hunger and and still obviously with the talent to grow with us. And Noah has provided that and the combination of Noah. Uh, that hunger, as I was saying, of being a rookie and, and of course, that insane talent that he has combined with the experience of, of Trimby, obviously, it has been a really good combination and it has worked for now. So we are really happy with that. OK, then I will uh, not uh, keep you so long because I guess you want to do a little party with your player. But one last question. Uh, we saw that uh, Oscar had the, like uh, kind of cast, uh, kind of bandage uh, on, the, on the hand. So do you have any like reassuring news to give to the fans that he is all right? Um, well, I think we are going to offer a bit more context on, on Oscar. Uh, I, I can say that, yeah, definitely he, um, he has played not that he is 100%, uh, but, uh, well, let's say that the injury that he had didn't stop or prevent him from playing today, which was a great news, uh, because he was not in pain and still, obviously he was not feeling exactly the same as if he, if he didn't have that. Uh, but he has, well, I mean, it's incredible, like the performance that he has been able to put out there with, with, with his hand not being at his at, at its one hundred percent. It's it's absolutely incredible. Um, I think we are very lucky to have a player like him, uh, yeah. not only of, with his talent but also with his willingness and and his uh, hunger and his passion uh, for the game. So so yeah, we I think we are going to be able to give a bit more context because. 
for us it was important that we were not going to give like extra information that could be used like competitive wise uh, against us like this weekend so we have obviously kept a bit the like the information for ourselves but uh i think probably like in the next hours like it will be the moment for uh to share some more insights on around this with our fans okay then thank you so much for dardo and good luck for next week thank you very much and yeah probably uh, it could be great if we can also be here celebrating next week so <laughs> thank you very much and and speak soon goodbye bye